In class activity two, for a control system with plant GPFS equal one over S times S squared plus four S plus five, design a controller to place the poles at negative one plus or minus J and negative one with a zero steady state error due to a step input. The first thing to notice is that we originally had a type one system because there is an integrator or a an, uh, pole, pole at the origin. And when we're done, they still want zero steady state error due to a step input. So at the end, we should still have a type one system or A naught equal B naught for the closed loop transfer function. So the first thing we do is we write GP of S is equal to one over S cubed plus four S squared plus five S, which equals NP of S over dp of s. Now our desired closed loop transfer function has a numerator of b naught and a denominator of s plus one times s plus one plus j times s plus one minus j. So when we multiply together the polynomials, we get s plus one times s squared plus two s plus two which equals B naught over S cubed plus three S squared plus four S plus two. And we know that B naught must equal A naught. So finally we have two over S cubed plus three S squared plus four S plus two. And this equals NT of S over dt of s. So gc of s is equal to nt dp over np times the quantity dt minus nt, which equals 2 times s times s squared plus 4s plus 5 over one times s cubed plus three s squared plus four s plus two minus two. And when we simplify this, we get two s times s squared plus four s plus five divided by s times s squared plus three s plus four So the S's cancel out and we get two times S squared plus four S plus five divided by S squared plus three S plus four. So K GC of S GP of S is equal to two over S times s squared plus 3s plus 4. And as you see here, we still have an integrator, so we do know that this is still going to be a type 1 system. So now what we're going to do is we're going to derive the closed loop transfer function to confirm that our design is correct and examine the root locus and the step response. So for the compensated system, we would have 2 over s cubed plus 3s squared plus 4s over one plus two over s cubed plus three s squared plus four s, which simplifies to two over s cubed plus three s squared plus four s plus two, which isn't indeed what our desired closed loop transfer function was. Now let's go visit MATLAB. So here we have the root locus. And what we see here is that originally the shape was a little different and it was not possible to get to the poles negative one plus j and negative one minus j because they would have been somewhere around here and around here. So after compensation, the shape not only changes, but now with a gain of one, we have negative one plus j and negative one minus j here. And then we would also have the fourth one, which would be right about here in line with the other two. for the negative one term. 
So we were indeed able to design a compensator to place the poles at the desired locations. And here's the step response. And notice that we had a type one system before and after compensation. So we don't see any difference in the steady state error. However, by shifting the root locus more to the left, what we do see is that there is a change in settling time. The original settling time was about 20 seconds and the new settling time is somewhere around five seconds. So there is a difference based upon shifting the root locus to the left.